come to the green side. <laughs> be -de -be -de -be -be -de -be. Yeah. Morning, it's Wednesday 28th, so this is week three. I have had three days of being very bad because I had bread and bread bloats me up like you wouldn't believe. So I've been weighing myself, I weighed myself, sorry, again, and um, the weight had gone up about half a pound. So that was midweek. So I've been back on it the rest of the time. So we shall see. This is the kitchen, gonna get demolished. Check that out, y'all. So I have a really nice kitchen at the moment. Move that fridge Crashed, look. Right, so, way in time, y'all. So have I lost weight? Yes, I have 14 stone 4.6. Body fat down. But muscle mass up. Bone density the same. I don't know that change. 29.1 20, BMI, so it's coming down. That's all good, y'all. Muscle mass up, so I'm not losing muscle mass. Although I'm not really gaining any, but I have a confession to make. So you can see, look, I'm being real, yeah. Um, I've exercised once since the last time I saw you, a bit of resistance, doing the slow stuff. You know, the really slow, so, um, so it's not lots of reps, it's slow and intense, so you get a lot of muscle um, under tension time, so it should grow, they feel sore, but I've only done it once this week. Also, like I said, I had three days where I had bread and it bloated me up like you wouldn't believe. Bread really doesn't work for me, and it was pita bread. So there you go, and I had hummus with it, shop-bought hummus, uh, with cucumbers on top. I mean, most people go, dude, that's really healthy, but remember, I eat a diet with no um, added fats, and bread, like I say, bloats me up. It's quite echoey in here now, sorry about that. Cool, so those things really had an effect on that weight loss. I reckon I'd have lost even more if I hadn't done that. So the only negative side to this Fasting is the constant bad breath, which means I'm in ketosis. I mean, it's the same breath all the time. Um, and it is pretty constant, I have to say. So exercise-wise, I've done once this week. And the other thing that you need to know is my wife worked out how many steps we walk, or I walk every day to take my son Sammy to school and back. And it's about 2,000 steps. That's it. So I do 2,000 steps a day. And on top of that, it's just walking around the house. My job generally is me sitting on my butt or walking to the front door to open the door to a student, standing up and saying goodbye, cooking me lunch or making me lunch or tea. And that's it. So I'm really not very active. So if you feel you need exercise to lose weight, you are wrong. Do you need exercise to be healthy? Yes, and that's why I'm looking to do the exercise. And of course, um, as Veg Source once said, um, doing exercise and eating correctly is gonna make you lose weight even uh, quicker. Quicker, 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 cool? Am I worried about the fact that I had three days where I kind of fell off the tracks a bit? No, because it's a lifestyle change and the way I'm eating is for me really sustainable. So you just kind of get your head down, get in there and get on with it. I know it's easy to say when you started losing weight because when you're not losing weight, you kind of really do go, oh, oh man, you know what's going on. That's my alarm in the background. Cool, anyways, that's me done. And like I say, it's a lifestyle change. So I'm not gonna be worrying about the fact that I fell off a bit. 
There we go. I'm not going to be worrying about the fact that I fell off a bit. Cool? Because that's normal and that's natural. To beat yourself up about it is when you really have a problem. Because then you go, oh, what's the point? And you give up totally. That's how I feel when I'm eating the bread. I feel all bloated and stodge. But I just, like I say, when that mindset starts to come in, I go, look, it's cool. It's a lifestyle change. It's not a diet. It's a lifestyle change. So there's always going to be wiggle and adjustment, like there is a lot at the me, a lot with me at the minute, with the exercising. Cool. So I'm not going to beat myself up. I wanted to build loads of muscle by now. I'm building muscle. There's no doubt I'm building muscle. But it's very slow. Of course it's very slow. I'm only exercising once. To, it was twice a week last time. Now it's once a week. Anyway, so I've lost some more weight. So what I'll do is I'll put down how much weight I've lost this week. And then how much weight I've lost over the last three weeks. Hope you found this video helpful. Uh, share your experiences down below. I'd love to know how, if you've done this kind of thing. 16-8 fasting. And um, it really is... The fasting helps you control the food or, you know, moderate how much you eat. Because remember, I'm not calorie restricting, I'm eating until I'm full. Um, it helps keep your taste buds clean. It feels like you reset almost every day. So rather than building up a kind of craving for something, you've got 16 to 18 hours for me, 16 to 18 hours in which you kind of reset the whole body which is absolutely great, kind of any food sins are kind of washed away in that time. So it gives you a chance to just keep staying on what eating regime you're on. And for me, it's um, high vegetable, well I suppose it's high fruit and high vegetable. Okay, I'll catch you guys later. This is Dylan, see you later, bye.